I just want to say one word to you. Just one word. Yes, sir. Are you listening? Yes, sir, you. Yeah. Back in the 60s, the future it was laid out before us. Plastics. It wasn't hard to figure out. Think about it. Plastic is everywhere. We buy it, we use it, we dispose of it. Americans throw away 2.5 million bottles every hour and generate enough plastics in one year to shrink wrap the state of Texas. One woman wanted to change those statistics. And what started as an experiment for Jean Hilgey has now turned into a way of life. I think for me in the beginning, I definitely was concerned about, um, about the chemicals in plastics. I was hearing here and there that there may be some chemicals in them that are not good for our bodies. And for me, um, not knowing is scary. And I felt like there, there was nobody telling me whether or not it was okay or not. Um, and so I started to just see if it was possible to get plastic out of my life. It wasn't easy at first. One of the hardest things to buy at the store is definitely snacks. Um, I mean, when you go through the snack aisle, there's pretty much nothing that's, um, that's packaged um, in, a, in a container that's not made of plastic. So sometimes it's, um, it's a little bit frustrating because I can't, like there's a plastic window and so I, I want to buy it, but then there's this plastic window and so I don't know if I should or not. When it comes down to it, there's almost nothing in any store that I can buy without plastic. And so what I do, what I need to do is buy the things that I eat out of, um, out of bins like this. What I end up doing is making one trip to Whole Foods usually and buying my rice and maybe some flour and some cereal and some snacks out of both bins. And then I might, will probably make a separate trip uh, to a farmer's market or something like that where I can get local produce. But how does Jean translate those habits from the grocery store to her own kitchen? Here's the inside of my refrigerator. So you can see that um, I don't have anything stored inside plastic produce bags. I don't have to be buying, um, buying everything from the grocery store packaged in plastic. Instead, I can make it myself and I can make foods that are healthy for me. She makes her own bread, yogurt, even toothpaste made with cinnamon and another unusual ingredient. Some people, I think, thought it was crazy that I was using good vodka for the toothpaste. Yes, you heard her right. Vodka in her toothpaste for a disinfectant. It does take creativity to avoid plastics and time. But just how much? Some of the things take a lot of time. You know, making bread from scratch can take, can take, can take a bit of time. But um, I think everyone can do something like this. Everyone can get some plastics out of their life, no matter what their situation is. So two and a half years later, she's almost plastic free making some tough sacrifices. I think it definitely was frustrating at first. I had a lot of foods that I was eating that I, you know, that were packaged in a lot of plastic that I really liked, like frozen pizza, you know. And it was frustrating to go to the store and to see all these foods that I really like to eat and not be able to buy them. But there are two things she absolutely can't live without. I kind of am all American, I guess, and that I really like ketchup and mustard, and so I have a ketchup, and I also have some yellow mustard, and I, I, again, I don't actually remember when I bought that, but I do have a few things in my refrigerator that are made of plastic. 